Welcome to Warn, today's news is. India looking for substantial make in India content in T90 tanks. Discussions have been held for some time in both the countries, the last round on March 18-19 in New Delhi. India is looking at 464 MBTs in addition to some 850 the Indian Army already operates. The deal is reportedly around $2 billion, and will involve upgrades of the existing tanks at the Heavy Vehicles Factory of the Ordnance Factories Board, OFB, at Avidai in Tamil Nadu. But this time, transfer of technology, TOT, will be a key component any agreement as per the Indian government's new Make in India policy to derive some offset gains for big purchases. The state-run Sputnik News Agency has given some indications of the ongoing talks but officially, representatives of Ural Vaganzavad, UVZ, which makes the tank, and Rosavaron Export, RO, which handles the arms trade and exports, declined comment. It may be noted that on March 18-19, the two countries held a military technical conference covering a comprehensive exchange of views on upgrades of various Russian origin systems in India, from aircraft to vehicles and ships. The Indian Army plans to have nearly 1,700 T-90 tanks by 2020. On offer from Russia now is the advanced T-90MS variant which incorporates some of the turret features of next-gen Armada tank developed for the Russian Army, Director of Moscow-based Center for Analyses of Strategies and Technologies, CAST, independent think tank, Dr. Ruslan Pukhov, told India Strategic. According to him, it was high time for India and Russia to increase cooperation, but as for make in India involving deep transfer of technology, a lot would depend upon the capabilities of Indian companies to absorb cutting-edge technologies. Take for example the case of older Konkurs anti-tank wire-guided missiles, Russia has given full technology to India, but it could not absorb it. Some of your defense labs and facilities are world-class, some are lingering in the past, Dr. Pukhov said. The first India-Russia military technical conference held in New Delhi on March 17-18 was co-chaired by Defense Minister Aaron Jaitley and Russian Industries and Trade Minister Denis Mancharov. It was attended by 100 Russian and 150 Indian companies, both from public and private sectors. Signing of a long-term agreement on life cycle support and maintenance of the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI air dominance fighters between HAL on the one hand and Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, and United Engines Corporation, UEC, on the other was a key highlight of the conference. It was organized by the Department of Defense Production. Russia is expected to supply spares and other equipment to the tune of 300 million US dollars under the SUV. 30 MKI MRO deal. Russia is ready to set up centers of competence across India for maintenance of Russian origin military hardware, Denis Mancharov said, and called for the creation of five platforms to manage defense cooperation between Russia and India helicopter building, aircraft building, shipbuilding, armor, and anti aircraft weapons. Once details on specific arrangements are worked out, the two countries should be signing intergovernmental agreements to facilitate requirements of various platforms with the Indian Armed Forces. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this news. Please share your views in comment box. Please like and share this video. Press subscribe button and bell for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.